Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to build a 3D vintage wooden uh, ship steering wheel. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and launch Design Spark Mechanical. Once it's open, we want to go ahead and say File, New, New Design. Change that to plan view. I'm going to go ahead and minimize. And I'm going to go ahead and click a sample drawing that I got off the internet. Put that right in the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and rotate this. So, so to do that, you click on the graphic, go to move, grab your blue arrow, and spin it around so it's basically I can start with it straight. Okay, now this doesn't. I don't have to build this any particular size, so I'm going to go ahead and start building it with this size here. Um, so first thing I want to do is go Control plus to zoom in and use the pan tool to pan down ever so slightly. I'm going to create half of this uh, handle here so we can uh, revolve it around. So we're going to go ahead and click there. We'll come down to about midway. Then we'll go ahead and select to click off. We're going to go ahead and use our spline tool for this, for most of this. But I could use the square tool, so we're going to go ahead and utilize a little bit of both. So this will be the square tool part. Go ahead and select to click off. I want to round the corner, so we'll go ahead and create rounded corner. Go from there to there. We're going to be revolving this all around, so we only have to draw like pretty much half of the shape. Okay, so we're going to do the same with this square tool. We're going to go ahead and click there. We'll go ahead and drag to there. Go ahead and select to click off of it. Go ahead and select your create rounded corners. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the spline tool. Go ahead and click there, click and drag out. Drag, click, drag, click, drag, click. And then click the select to click off. So there's part of our handle. I'm going to finish the rest down here. So go ahead and get your spline tool. Go ahead and click and drag out. Oops. Go back to select. Got the wrong tool. Go ahead and get your spline tool. Go control plus to zoom in. Go ahead and click there. We'll drag out. We'll curve it. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click. Go ahead and select to click off of it. Go ahead and get your line tool. We're going to go from there to there, select. We're going to go to our trim away tool. We're going to trim away that. We're going to trim away that there. We're going to trim away that. We're going to go and get the line tool. We're going to go ahead and add this part right here. Select, trim away, trim away that part. All right, that looks good. So control minus. We're going to click on our graphic. Select. Click on the graphic. Go to move. And we're going to move this out of the way. Actually, since I have this angle, it's going to be hard to move that. So. We'll just go ahead and leave it. I'm going to go ahead and select that shape there. We're going to go ahead and uh, say pull. Drag a mark. Actually, I do have to move that out of the way. So control minus. Uh, go to select. Let's just drag this off like this. All right, so go ahead and select that. We'll go to pull. We're going to go to Revolve, 
we're going to click here and then we're going to click the full pull all right that's one revolution so that's going to be one of the handles so we'll click and drag this back into place click off of it go ahead and control plus to zoom in and then we're going to go ahead and create this piece right here I'll put a line in there to make sure that it's we're going to the center all right go ahead and get your circle tool create another circle all right let's control minus let's click and drag this off the page we want to go ahead don't need that center line anymore so we're going to go ahead and delete it we're going to select all of this pull or actually move sorry we're going to select our spindle we're going to change that go over here to create pattern then we're going to click down there now we want one two three four five we want a total of five of these so I'm going to spin around like this right to there go ahead and select the click off now we want to go ahead and spin this and we want to go ahead and pull we're going to pull this middle part we're going to pull from both sides we want this to come out maybe like 0.4 so select Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go to the top view. We're going to create this outer triangle. So we'll go ahead and click there. Go ahead and click the circle tool. We'll go ahead and pull. And we basically want to pull uh, let's go to right there. And then we'll go click again and create the outer band right there okay so go ahead and select we're going to go ahead and spin we're going to go ahead and pull we're going to pull this we're going to pull from both sides and we're going to pull at the same distance as we did the first one 0.40 okay something seems a little off okay so it didn't look like it pulled it from both sides so what we're going to have to do is go undo and probably because there's the handles are in the way so we're going to go ahead and pull this just point two okay so click off of it we'll go ahead and spin around from the back and we'll pull the other side point two so we'll go ahead and click on that and we'll pull this point two so that should be I'm not really sure what's going on here. This should be, it should go from the center, but it's not. Okay, we're gonna have to move it. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Three clicks. Let's go ahead and spin this. And then we're gonna go ahead and move. Click that. Go ahead and move. We'll grab this. And we'll move it 0.2. Okay, this should be correct now. Okay, everything is where it needs to be. So now we're going to hit the select button. We're going to get rid of this middle piece. Don't need it. And we're going to go ahead and add some details to this steering wheel. So we'll go ahead and pan. Go ahead and spin. We're going to go ahead and pull. We're going to click the outer two outer edges. We're going to change this from rounded to chamfer, and we're going to click and drag. Put a um, 0.6 chamfer in there. So let's go ahead and spin. That looks pretty good. We'll do the same to the middle part. Go ahead and select. 
click on both of these, go to pull, change from rounded to chamfer, go ahead and click and drag, and we'll go to point, let's go to point six on this. Okay, let's go ahead and control plus. Let's go ahead and spin. And we'll do the same on this side here. So we'll go ahead and pull, select there, select there, change that to chamfer, click and drag in, 0.5. Click to select to click off of it. Go to the top view. We can go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. Let's pan over. And to the center. All right, there's our steering wheel, our vintage steering wheel. It doesn't take too long to create stuff in Design Spark Mechanical. Looks like a good little vintage wheel. Um, and what's nice about it is you could always pull and you could adjust this stuff down if you wanted to show more of the handle. Like we could go to there, 0.7. Go ahead and spin that. That looks a little bit better. There's more of the um, rounded handle showing. And then last thing I want to do is go ahead and get rid of the, the center piece. We don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and put another chamfer right there. So we'll go ahead and click and pull. I'll make this 0.3. Grab our spin tool, spin it around to the back, grab the pull tool, go ahead and create another one. Oh, undo, make sure you click on the chamfer first. Go ahead and click there, click on the chamfer, go ahead and pull that to 0.3. Click off of it, go ahead and change the view to top. All right, there you go. There's your own little uh, three-dimensional vintage wooden steering wheel for a, a ship. I'm not going to do too much more to it. That's going to end the tutorial. Uh, if you found anything useful out of the tutorial, please consider liking and subscribing. And again, thank you for watching.